Hello there everyone, this is your own 5 minutes medicine and today we will talk about pimples or acnes as we say which frankly we are all quite familiar with and can be understood as a condition where the pores of our skins get blocked due to oily substances, bacteria and dead skin cells. Occurrence of acnes is extremely common worldwide with around 80% of people experiencing it at some point of their lives. It can occur at any age, but usually the age group mostly affected is late teens and early 20s. And mostly it appears on face, nape of the neck, upper arms, and back. Before jumping into the mechanism of acne formation, let's take an overview of the skin which comprises of three parts epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. Hair follicles are situated deep down in the dermis, where it is supplied with nutrition by blood vessels. The sebaceous gland, sweat gland, and piloerector muscles are situated in the relatively upper part of dermis. And since we are discussing acne, we should learn about the fact that sebaceous gland helps in secreting sebum, which lubricates the skin and keep it moist. So we now know the sebaceous gland secretes sebum for lubricating the skin, but because of different reasons, the pores of the skin gets blocked, which results in continuous deposition of sebum in the skin, and later it gets infiltrated with pathogenic microbes like bacteria etc. that causes a condition which we all hate and that looks something like this. Acne can be caused due to a variety of reasons like hormonal imbalance, especially estrogen and progesterone imbalance seen in younger females, physical and mental stress, using oily creams and personal care products, living in a place with pollution or high humidity, and of course, the genetics. As for the types, acne are usually classified into four types, mainly based on their appearances which can be understood as the blackheads, the whiteheads, papules, and the pustules. An important point which should be remembered is acne should never be popped out. I repeat, never, as popping out can lead to even more widespread distribution of acne and can even lead to cyst formation in worst case scenario. The treatment of acne depends upon various factors such as age of the person, location of acne, type of acne and previously used medications. A course of antibiotics is often prescribed which may include clindamycin, doxycycline, etc ointment containing chemicals like benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid, etc. and pills or topical ointment for vitamin A and its derivative like isotretinoin. And hormonal therapy, especially in females who suffer from hormonal imbalance. Laser and other light therapies have become common in today's world with development of medicine and science and is commonly used for severe acne involving cysts, scars, etc. The scope of these light therapies include simpler at-home devices, which can be used by non-professional personnel, to complex type, including infrared, photodynamic therapy, etc. So that's it for a quick recap on acne. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please help the channel to grow by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Thank you and see you until next time.